Mid Journey has just become even more amazing with its latest image to text feature. Basically, it studies the image that you upload and describes it to you with text prompts that you can use to recreate the art. How does it work? Let's say you want to create art similar to an image, but you don't know the prompt for it. You can upload the image to Mid Journey, it will do its magic and return 4 possible wow. text prompts to recreate the art. So in this video, I'll show you how anyone, regardless of their creative skills, can leverage this feature to create digital products like clip art, seamless patterns, and wall art to sell on Etsy. I want to keep this video short, so I won't be showing you the whole process of selling them. I plan to create a separate video for that, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. For those who don't know, Mid Journey is an AI art generator that creates images based on text prompts. It's a powerful tool and one of the most popular among artists, designers, and even non-creative individuals like myself. However, it's not free and you'll need to be a paid member to obtain commercial license rights for the images you generate. I mentioned clip art, seamless patterns, and wall art because I want to demonstrate how Mid Journey can easily create them. These are some of the popular niches I found on Etsy and I'm not making any specific recommendations. So I advise you to conduct your market research first before deciding to sell these digital products. And here's why this feature is so powerful and can help you save a lot of time figuring out prompts yourself. Let's say that you want to sell clip art as digital products, but you're someone like me who's creatively challenged and can't think of designs. You can find some of the best seller items for clip art and try to generate similar styles. Best seller items are an indication that they're high in demand, so you want to try and leech off of them. That's where this feature comes in handy because it provides you with four different types of styles that you can use. For example, let's say you want to create SVGs like this, but instead of black and white, you want them to be coloured. You can take a snippet of the image using the snipping tool, which is a Windows application, save it, and ask Mid Journey to describe it. If you generate the prompts, you'll see that the results may not be exactly what you want for SVG. You want it on a white background, so it'll be easier to remove later. To do that, click on one of the options and a box will appear for you to modify the prompt. At the end of it, add white background and remove any parameters for expect ratio. I'll talk more about parameters soon. Now the results are much better than the previous ones. Ideally, you want to avoid images that are not coloured because they are harder to remove the background from. Let me show you what I mean with these two images. I'm on remove.bg where I can easily remove the background of images. Can you see the difference? The colour of the petals is removed in the first one, while it looks great in the second. And just like that, you can create a bundle of clip art in a short period of time. Additionally, you can customise it to your needs by tweaking the prompts and it doesn't take a big brain to do that. This way, you could provide different variations of SVG because there can never be enough. Now, let's move on to creating seamless patterns, which follows the same process as before. However, there are some changes that you need to make to the prompt. Firstly, you need to snip and save the image, then ask Mid Journey to describe it. Once you have received the prompt from Mid Journey, modify it by adding dash dash tau dash dash v5 at the end of it. These are called parameters, which act like settings that you give to the AI to generate images in a specific manner. The tall basically tells Mid Journey to generate a repeating pattern, while V5 indicates to use the version 5 algorithm, as the tall feature is only available in version 5. To check if the pattern is seamless, drop the image into this website and you'll see that indeed, it is pretty seamless. For anyone who wants to start selling seamless patterns, I think this is an efficient method because you can easily create bundles of different patterns in a short period of time. Moving on to creating wall art, the process is the same as before and I'll use nursery decor as an example. The only difference here is that you'll need to modify the prompt to generate images in a portrait format. 
To do this, you need to add the expect ratio parameter which is dash dash AR 2 by 3. Here you can see the results are similar to the example given and these are great results in different styles. Remember, we want to create variations of the best seller item because customers who viewed the listing will be suggested with items similar to that based on the Etsy algorithm. I plan to start a new store deploying this method, so like this video if you want to see a process on that. And there you have it. Midjourney's technology is progressing rapidly and I'm excited about the vast opportunities it brings to make money. This is just a short video regarding the latest update and I would love to hear your thoughts about it in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.